guys you are here for march madness week day six so i told you guys i was gonna do different masks especially towards the weekend and a saturday so i'm more in a zen chill space today because i don't have work i don't have, i love non-work days and it's not even because of work it's not like i dislike my job i just like not having to be somewhere at a certain time and i like not having any commitments of course there are all weekends i have commitments tomorrow is like my bi-weekly lunch at my mom's and not that that's stressful but you know i know i have to wake up at a certain time and get ready at a certain time i love days where i can just chill out and do nothing and that is today and it is raining here in massachusetts so if you're hearing some rain that's why so it's like the perfect mood to just sit back and relax so today i am using a I would, I would, I would, okay, it's, it's categorized as a clay mask, okay, I wasn't sure if it was a mud mask or a clay mask, it is by Teamy, I love Teamy, um, they started as just a tea brand, I used to get teas from them years ago, it is a woman owned business, um, I believe she's based out of Florida, I've been following them for a long time, like, when the company first started years, years ago, and then she broke out, and, uh, for, out of she used to sell, like, tea and tumblers, and then she started doing skincare and masks, and this is their detox mask, it is a green tea blend with matcha, lemongrass, and clay, and it says to keep on to 15 to 20 minutes, I think I'm gonna start doing more of these, I've had this for a while, I just cracked it open, I, I was even telling Joe, I'm like, this is so sad of me, like, I got this forever ago. I need to use it. So I always tend to grab sheet masks, but this is actually a lot easier to talk in. So I might start doing more of these. I literally have two of these. Um, and then I have like a scrub and I have so many other different brands. I have so many of these that I need to do more of them. But anyway, for today, I figured I would do a small Amazon haul because I just got an Amazon package delivered to me. Um, so just so you guys know, um, there will be like a giveaway and there's a secret word. We'll talk about it at the end. Um, but just so you guys know from, I've been saying it in every video, it's a little bit different because instead of just, they're always random. Instead of just, you know, picking a random comment, we are going to pick a video and then pick the comment. So as you guys know, we are posting all seven days this week, Monday through Sunday. Um, there's going to be seven days. And uh, what we're doing is like, I don't know, some people are doing on a wheel. I think I'm just going to write them on a piece of paper. But when we do, um, when we close the giveaway, which I believe is the 27th, that will be down below along with all the other rules and the list of ladies to go watch the other ladies. You have to make sure you're publicly subscribed to all of us. That's one of the rules, but there's many other rules. Go check down below. Um, but what we're doing is I'll be picking out a slip on the 27th. And let's say I pick out I don't know, day two. So that means I'm going to go to day two's video copy paste that link and use that secret word from that day so it's even more random than usual because basically it you have to watch all the videos to have a better chance to win you could still win if you only watch one video because that video could be the one that's picked but of course your chances are better if you watch and comment on all seven videos so for today i um need to refresh my bathroom um last weekend i focused on the living room and the entryway i decorated for easter um you guys can actually see some of the entryway in my outfits of the week which just went up this morning you can see my little easter bunnies and carrots um but the bathroom is still decorated for winter i have like a shower curtain that has like snowman on it and i have like snowflake towels i need to refresh that so that is what i'm planning on doing for the rest of the day today when i get off camera and then the other day i said i want to figure out something for my toothbrushes because i don't know about you guys maybe it's a touch ocd but i do not like having exposed toothbrushes i've been like that for many 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 years um even when i lived with my mom i used to keep the toothbrush like in my bedroom and bring it into the bathroom because and me too i've always lived with animals especially cats um you guys saw i've done uh skincare sun self-care sunday videos when i'm doing my skincare you see that mango jumps up on the bathroom counter i just it's unsanitary hair um you know th the bathroom's kind of a gross place like the t toilet all that i just i can't so i have always used toothbrushes that have a little cover on them but as you can see they get gunky they get gross this one's about to get thrown out replace your toothbrushes guys i need to get more in the habit of replacing them more often so i just did a dollar tree one and i picked up some more and i was doing like a search and i was trying to find closed toothbrush holders now the reason they don't exist is because toothbrushes can grow mold because there's wet and then you put it in an enclosed space it can grow mold that's why you'll notice these things have little like vent holes on the side so i found this right here i'm going to show you guys the box i already took it out i'll show you the item this and it's by oxo you guys know it's a good name brand they do a lot of like kitchen items 
uh, bathroom items. And this is a toothbrush organizer that has a cover, but it's vented on the top. So it is a closed, more sanitized toothbrush holder that still, uh, because it has that openness on the top, it allows for ventilation and mold is not supposed to grow. I read a lot of reviews. There was no complaint of mold. The major complaint, which I will say, is they said that because it's stainless steel, it does get a lot of watermarks very quickly. So this is it right here. It is gorgeous. So if you open it up, I have my brand new toothbrush that I took out, just took out of the Dollar Tree package. You guys have seen a Dollar Tree haul. I love these. These are bamboo. They're way better for the environment versus this big hunk of plastic. So I don't feel as guilty getting rid of these because they compost easily. They break down easier. And it is a charcoal head because I do love charcoal toothbrushes. So does um, Joe. That's why Joe's is a charcoal toothbrush. And then this back here is actually the head to my electric toothbrush. I was hoping this was going to fit. It does not. So if you use electric toothbrushes, you cannot. So, um, but this does fit well now at least the head fits and i can keep this like in my bathroom drawer so um i haven't used electric toothbrush in a while because i didn't know what to do with the head of it so now with this i can so um i have a regular and the electric some days i just want to be really quick and easy out the door i wake up late you know whatever so i like to have the option and what's nice about this one is the middle holds the toothpaste i try my electric tooth toothbrush doesn't fit in that one so it's like an all in one spot and there is one two three four spots for toothbrushes so if you're someone who has like one to two children just this would work for you but it's just me and joe and as you can see, it has the ventilation here on the top. Um, so I will say the only complaint was the water spot. So I'm going to try to be strategic, strategic about how I put this in the bathroom. I do have a little closet right near my sink. So I think I might end up putting it in there. Or I'm wondering, I could put it in the drawer. No, I can't. Because the second you lay it down, it opens. Okay, so that solves that uh, problem. I know I can't do that. So either it's going to go in the closet or I will put it on the counter, but maybe like farther back. So if you have a bigger sink, that works. If you're someone who has a small sink, it doesn't. But if the spots don't bother you, the spots don't bother you. I'm just letting you know what the complaint was with people even had pictures and it did look very gross and ugly afterwards um and it was like 22.99 um so yeah that is what i got to solve that problem with my toothbrushes and then i picked up this i thought this was really cool it is it's called a crumb runner i don't know why runner to me it's like a crumb picker upper it's a it's a it's a brush like a, a little like a little broom for your countertop like how cute is that it's by full circle i love this name brand i uh sometimes i buy their sponges um i buy their dish brushes i found them through um what used to be cause box which is now ultra which i don't subscribe to anymore but they used to have a lot of this brand in their boxes and it literally says it's a counter sweep and squeegee so this is the brush and obviously it, you would just you don't need as much of a handle because you're not sweeping the floor you're sweeping a countertop and then this green thing is the dish pan but it also has a squeegee edge if you guys can see that little gray silicone so if it's liquid you can squeegee the liquid like you can open the trash can squeegee it right into the trash can instead of using like as so you're not using as many paper towels of course you still have to spray down and wipe afterwards so it's not sticky anymore um uh, but you want to have to pick up as much liquid anymore. Or you could squeegee it right into the sink, you know, depending on where your sink is and what your countertop is dirty. And then if it's crumbs, you can just like sweep it right into the trash. I thought this was so cool. It was cheap. I figured I would try it out. I think it was literally like six ninety nine. Um, let me see. And I know they're all about being um, like better for the environment. Yes, yeah, so we have non toxic coated coated bamboo. Uses certified recycled plastic. It has plastic free packaging. Um, it literally says, we can't stop, we won't stop innovating for the planet. Check us out on fullcircle.com. So I thought this was really cute. So I picked that up since I was making the Amazon order. And, um, is this the last thing? Oh, okay. I also grabbed, I'm not wearing my glasses, so I'm like fumbling around a little bit. I was desperate for new chargers. Uh, my charger was doing that thing where it charged, stop, charge, charge, stop, charge. And I was like, oh my God. And it was for boat, boat chargers I had. So I said, I need to buy new ones. I never buy Apple chargers. I find them way too expensive. So I always end up picking, this is like really drying up. Oh, okay. Anyway. I always end up buying just one from Amazon. So I literally just typed in like six foot charges. So I like the longer ones. And this one came up and it was a three pack for like $11. So I thought that was a great price. And they are wicked nice guys. Like I highly recommend. I will definitely, when I need charges again, 
we'll buy these. So now I have one in my living room, one in my bedroom, and I keep one in my purse. So it's perfect. These are like a braided rope. So they're like easier to bend. They say it's, it's more protection versus like a regular wire, which can crack. Um, it also, what I really like about it has this Velcro piece right here. So if like the one I have in my bag, I have it all rolled up really neatly. And then you can use Joe. Oh, you scared me. I heard the side door open. All right. Anyway, that's all right. Okay. You just scared me for a second. I'm like, uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> this Velcro piece can close it right there. So it stays nice and like compact, which was really nice. And it just, it's been charging my phone really, really well. Um, cause I've been using it for a few days now. Yeah. It even says the rope adds battery protection. It's tangle free, quick charge, extra strong. Um, and it did match with my iPhone. I made sure. So yeah, that was that, you know, it's a definitely an essential piece for people. And then last but not least was definitely a splurge item that I treated myself to. So if you guys watch my outfit to the week or what I got for Christmas, you know that Joe treated me to the Marc Jacobs, the tote bag in purple for Christmas. And I love it. And I've been using it for work. And the only reason I really asked for it was because I did need like a really nice sturdy bag for work because I carry around the laptop, a notebook, I carry out, you know, I have to carry a lot of things because I work in multiple classrooms. I don't work just in one classroom. So I needed something sturdy. When I buy a cheaper bag, the straps end up falling apart. It's not worth it. I would rather spend a little bit more for a higher quality piece. And Joe treated me to that. Well, I follow this girl on Instagram called Target Tucson Girl. Her name is Angie. I have mentioned her many times, especially in my outfits of the week or Target hauls. Uh, she influences me to buy a lot of things. And she showed this tote bag. And it is a dupe to the Marc Jacobs tote bag. And it was 70 So it's definitely not cheap, but it's not $200 like the one Joe got me. Um, the only difference is it doesn't say Marc Jacobs. It just says the tote bag. And I know her. She tends to buy higher quality items. We talk all the time on Instagram. So I messaged her and I said, what do you think of the bag? And she's like, honestly, Tay, you let me know because you have the real one. Compare when you get it because I'm curious. But I find it to be so sturdy and so, so high quality. So it's a, she said it's a very heavy duty canvas, which that is what the Marc Jacobs bag is made out of. There's a leather version as well. But the one Joe got me was the canvas bag. And she said, I have had no complaints. So I said, all right, I'm going to get it. They ended up, when I went to go order it, they ended up being a 20% off little coupon that you have to click on Amazon. So it from, it went from 70, no, 70, was it 79 or 69? I want to say it was 79 now that I think of it. I think the smaller size was 69. I said, wow, for the bigger size, only 10 bucks more. Um, So the one you got me is actually the smaller size one, but I figured I would get the bigger size one. It would be even easier because that one sometimes I have to like not wrangle my laptop into it, but I got to be more strategic where this one I can kind of just throw it in and go. So I, so it was regularly 79, but once I put in that 20% off coupon, I went down to like 64 or 65. And if as long as it's high quality, I do not mind paying that. So it does seem extremely high quality, extremely sturdy. These handles are like thick. And when I wore the real one to Joe's mom's house, she even said, she goes, wow, this is like an airplane strap. Like it's really gonna strap you in. And I said, you know, like a, like a buckle for like a car seat, a seat belt is what she was saying, a seat belt. Um, and I said, yeah. And then it also comes with, the Marc Jacobs one comes with only one, but it comes with the other straps. So it comes with a plain black strap with gold hardware and it comes with this really pretty like woven decorative strap i know these are really in they even sell on amazon these separately and tons of different prints so you can like match them with your outfits and you hook them here there is like, these little gourmets gourmet is that what you call them on the inside so I am super excited. I kept debating on getting it in black or this tan neutral. My habit is to buy everything in black. But I said, you know what? That's neutral. That goes with everything. And spring and summer around the corner, I'm definitely going to be wearing lighter colors. So I said, that is going to be perfect. If I really, really love it by fall, maybe I'll pick it up in black. So if you guys want a comparison from the dupe to the real one, let me know. I can definitely do that. Um, but yeah, that is everything I got from Amazon. I hope you enjoyed the little haul. Let me show you guys now what I'm going to be putting in the giveaway. So I told you guys I was going to be showing you something each day. And then the last day was going to be like the big thing. 
So today's, it is like a bigger thing. It doesn't seem like much, but if you guys know this name brand, this mask alone goes for $20. It is Soon Skin Care. Soon Skin Care is a very good name brand. It's a more expensive, higher end name brand. Um, so this one even comes in two pieces, which I find that's like, that's usually how the higher quality masks come. It comes with nose up and then like nose down kind of thing. And you keep it on for 15 to 20 minutes. This one even comes with like, um, tabs to make it easier to put on your face to hold so you don't have to hold the actual mask and it even comes with like a film that you need to peel it off of like like that's what i mean like i find always higher quality more expensive masks come with that so you're gonna get the face mask version and the under eye version yeah the eye patch so this one is aloe it has hyaluronic acid which is super moisturizing for the skin and this one is pomegranate collagen so this, even though it's only two things, this it definitely is a high ticket item. Tomorrow's is going to be big. It's going to be five items. None of it is masks. It is all other types of skincare. And you guys are getting one nice, big, beautiful bundle. Whoever wins this is extremely lucky. You're getting face masks, foot masks, eye masks. Um, what else? I know I put in other things. Hand masks and then all the goodies from tomorrow. So definitely check out tomorrow's video. Um, check out all the other ladies. They've also been doing amazing giveaways over there um and amazing videos and amazing content i've been really enjoying it i've been caught up with everybody so far i've been watching them like each day um it's really like brought me joy you guys know youtube brings me lots and lots of joy i hope i bring you guys joy um and if you guys are wondering what i put the mask on with it was this little spatula thing literally picked this up at dollar tree so um yeah that is it for this video um if you like to give it a thumbs up it really helps the youtube algorithm go let's look at um all the rules down below go uh, down below will also be all the ladies will be tagged and there's also a hashtag so if you click the hashtag it'll bring you to all the videos or you can click each individual lady as well so the secret word you know what soon so you guys can use it in different ways. S O O N. You can either say that soon skin care, that soon skin care is great, or that skin soon face mask looks amazing, or you can put something like I hope uh, summer comes soon. You know what I mean? So that way you can use it in different ways. But the word for today will be soon. S O O N. So enter that down below if you want to enter the giveaway. Like I said, you have to be humbly subscribed to all of us and go check all the other rules down below you have to live like within the u.s be 18 plus and older uh you know what's inside of my hands i'm no longer liable i'm also no liable if you don't have any if you have any allergic reactions all those good things but um that is it i can't wait to start rocking my new mark jacobs bag and now i gotta go refresh my bathroom because spring is around the corner winter is no more the clocks actually jump forward today right yeah so wait no is it spring back jump i don't i don't know but yeah <laughs> yeah everyone's saying we're gonna get lose an hour of sleep which means it's gonna be sunny out longer which is the best time of year for me you guys let me know down below as well do you prefer summer or winter i am definitely a summer girl all the way through be safe guys